blood pressure is regulated by both short term and long term mechanisms in the short term regulation of blood pressure one of very important mechanisms is baroreflex what is this baroreflex baroreflex is uh, brought about by the stimulation of baroreceptors that is the carotid sinus and aortic sinus so there are two baroreceptors carotid sinus and aortic sinus and as the name suggests carotid sinus is located in the carotid artery actually just above the bifurcation of the common carotid artery in the internal carotid artery this carotid sinus is located and aortic sinus so this is aortic sinus it is located in the arc of aorta so whenever there is increase in blood pressure these baroreceptors are stimulated and what is the range in which they work it is basically greater than 70 mm mercury up to 200 mm mercury so whenever mean arterial pressure is greater than 70 mm mercury these baroreceptors are stimulated and uh, actually this aortic sinus this works at a plus 30 mm higher range than that of the carotid sinus so that's the difference between the operations of carotid sinus and aortic sinus anyways when these baroreceptors are stimulated the information from these receptors goes via afferent neurons which are basically the glossopharyngeal nerve in case of uh, carotid sinus and uh, there is vagus nerve from the aortic sinus so these afferent neurons carry the information to medulla that is the nucleus tractus solitarius and they basically cause the stimulation of nucleus tractus solitarius so increase in bp will lead to stimulation of the nucleus tractus solitarius now this stimulation further leads to stimulation of a region caudal ventral lateral region of the medulla that is the cvlm and once this is stimulated actually two things happen simultaneously actually here the cvlm causes stimulation of the nucleus ambiguus and dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus which is basically the center for the vagus nerve and it leads to parasympathetic system stimulation so parasympathetic system is stimulated and the uh, cvlm in turn inhibits the rostral ventral region of the medulla which is responsible for the neurons which reach to the intermedial lateral column of the spinal cord that is the sympathetic system so you see when bp is increased what is happening the stimulation of cvlm is leading to the activation of the parasympathetic system and via the inhibition of the rvlm it is leading to the inhibition of the sympathetic system because rvlm is responsible for the sympathetic system right so rvlm is inhibited and sympathetic system activation decreases so what is the end result that is very important because it is at this level that clinics operate the drugs are given at this level so we should know that uh, what is the effect of activation of the sympathetic system sorry inhibition of the sympathetic system and activation of the parasympathetic system when bp increases so first we'll see parasympathetic system it is simpler you see parasympathetic system basically supplies the sa node and the av node and there it uh, what uh, it causes is it causes decrease in heart rate so you see here we have not written anything regarding the contractility of the heart it is mainly heart rate to which parasympathetic system is affecting and actually it is decreasing the heart rate because of which there is decrease in the cardiac output decrease heart rate will lead to decrease in cardiac output and hence decrease in systolic blood pressure so parasympathetic system has its effect mainly on heart and that too only on heart rate and in the conductivity of the signal also because it is affecting the conducting pathway but sympathetic system has varied effects so normally you see what uh, sympathetic system supply in cardiovascular system it supplies heart so there is effect on the heart rate sympathetic system causes increase in the heart rate there is increase in the force of contraction then it has effect on vessels as well there is arteriole it causes arteriole constriction which causes in turn increase in the peripheral resistance and hence increase in the diastolic blood pressure because the, the main determinant of uh, blood pressure are cardiac output 
so systolic blood pressure is determined by cardiac output and diastolic blood pressure is determined by peripheral resistance okay so you see here the effect of sympathetic system is on both there is a increase in the peripheral resistance when there is activation of sympathetic system and increase in the diastolic blood pressure plus by its effect on heart it is causing increase in the cardiac output by increasing both heart rate and increasing the force of contraction also you see i have written one more it causes veno constriction that is the constriction of the veins because of which there is increase in the venous return and hence further increase in the force of contraction by the cranistalic mechanism so this is the effect of sympathetic and parasympathetic system on cardiovascular system it's very very important so now simply you see that whenever blood pressure increases because of the stimulation of the parasympathetic system and inhibition of the sympathetic system what happens ultimately the peripheral resistance is going to decrease because sympathetic system is not going to have its effect and hence there will be decrease in the diastolic blood pressure then the cardiac output is also going to decrease and hence there will be decrease in the systolic blood pressure and both if we see together there will be decrease in the mean arterial blood pressure and uh, what will happen if uh, there is decrease in blood pressure decrease in blood pressure then the opposite events will happen because baroreceptors will be not that much stimulated what is known as unloading of the baroreceptors then this afferent activity will be reduced stimulation of nts will be less and hence this inhibition of rvlm will not be that much so sympathetic system will become active and parasympathetic system will be less active and we will see opposite effects so that was about baroreflex thanks for watching the video if you liked it do press the like button share the video with others and don't forget to subscribe to the channel physiology open thank you